Well, winter is almost, a f it feels like it's here now. Right? It does but feel it, like it. It's also almost officially here. Yeah. Meteorologist Dave Downey breaks down everything you need to know about the winter solstice. December 21st, four days before Christmas, also the first day of winter. It's when the Earth is tilted the furthest away from the North Pole, the sun squarely over the Tropic of Capricorn, about 23 and a half degrees latitude south of the equator. We'll get just nine hours and 43 minutes of daylight tomorrow, making it in fact the day with the least amount of sunshine or daylight in 2023. Summer officially begins in the Southern Hemisphere, Australia, South Africa, South America, while winter takes over for us northerners north of the equator. Here's what's ironic about the winter solstice. It doesn't have the earliest sunset or the latest sunrise of the year. Those days come earlier in December and later on in January. It's also not the average coldest day of the year either. That doesn't come for another few weeks on January 15th. The days are going to start to get longer finally on Friday, but we only get 18 minutes more daylight between the solstice and mid-January. But then about a month later, between Jan 16, February 18th, we gain a whole hour up to 11 hours of daylight. Hang in there. We only go up in the daylight department from here. Dave Downey, CBS 17 News.